The diet of our cows here is comprised of corn silage and cob meal, which is the, the cob and the kernels all processed. And it's also made up of haylage. And then we add some canola meal for a protein supplement. Trace minerals balanced to what the cow's needs are. And that's all mixed up into kind of like a cow salad. And it's delivered to them fresh 12 times a day. Every time they go and eat food, they want it to be the same as the last time and the time before that and the time before that. So that's a big part of also why the cows stay in the barn. So we harvest our food for the year in the summertime and then the cows stay in this really stable, comfortable environment and every day is the same day for them and the food is always the same. It's actually really scientific and we work very closely with our nutritionists. Cows are ruminants which basically means they, they use a bacteria inside their stomach to digest their food for them. So if you change a cow's food, the bacteria actually has to change. You have to have a different kind of bacteria to digest that food. So again, that's why you really want a consistent diet for the cows. It keeps them healthy. Well, we're, we're standing beside our uh, manure pit here. And uh, well, obviously when we, we feed our cows, the, the feed has to be processed and what they don't make use of comes out as, as manure and goes through our system and ends up in the manure pit. We're actually able to make very, very, very good use of our manure. Our cows, they eat the, the grass and, and the, the TMR that we feed them and make milk, the byproduct of manure with a nutrient management plan is very, very valuable to us. We put it back on our grasses after we do our grass cutting. We go out, we spread liquid manure on. It helps us with using less commercial fertilizer and it gives us right back to the land and continues the cycle of feeding our cows. We can test the manure, find out what the nutrient value is, test the land, see what the requirements are, and then we only supplement that with exactly what's needed. We, we spread the bulk of our manure right after we cut our first cut grass. Because so whenever you cut, you're actually, that product you're, you're cultivating is taking nutrients off the land so we have to replace that and the quicker you can replace it the better it is. And things we've learned we have to be in there quick to prevent crop damage from wheel tracks and that so we need to you know you can't be waiting two weeks or whatever you get the crop off you put it on it's feeding the crop you're not doing damage it's yeah there's we've learned a lot.